Hi right, everyone, I've um, my hunt for a van is continuing and it's led me to British Car Auctions at um, Blackbush, near Blackbush Airport where the plane crash was a while ago, it crashed into the, the car park so the van I've spotted is this little beauty, look at that a nice Mercedes Sprinter, not only is it a Sprinter, it's a medium wheelbase or yeah medium wheelbase with windows but it's get better than that it's actually got a welfare unit inside so that van will have an inverter a microwave a night heater it's even got a little table look which we could use in the camper build i'll um probably change it around a bit if i buy it it's a really clean van it's a template so it should go for a reasonable price and there's no VAT. This is the other beautiful thing, no VAT. Here's the rear of the van. I'm just going to quickly show it. It's got a little dent there, down the side, but that's only minor. It's nothing major. There's the interior, lovely and clean. Driver's seat isn't ripped, and it's a two-seater. So perfect for a walkthrough, or you can swivel the seats around. It's already got two seats in the front, not the three. Perfect for a camper van. Absolutely and it's only done 125,000 miles. I saw these photos and I was really excited. I thought, fantastic, I'm having that. That's as good as mine, all right? Now here's the problem. Not only do British car auctions put photos up so you can see what you're getting, they also do a nice little video. So, I look at the video. Now, is it me or is that a different van? Let me start from the beginning. Again, right? There we go. Right, registration number is the same. Actually, I'm gonna just pause that there. YF10 XWX, quite a simple registration number. But to me, that looks like a different van. This is what caught my eye first. There's a hash markings at the bottom of the door. So as we go through the video, I'll pause it at different places. Now look at that driver's seat. That is definitely not the van in the photographs. Look how grim and dirty it is. Look at the floor, look. Now that is a proper builder's van. Still nothing wrong with it, it'll still make a nice camper. Notice the stickers on the dashboard. What's that saying? Now isolate your vehicle. Good advice. Don't know what that sticker says, it's all blurry. It's not the best of videos. Okay, it's got a warning sign saying reserve fuel drive to a filling station. I can't quite make out what the kilometres is, but basically it's got no fuel in it. Alright, it's running on empty. There we go. So that's the inside, so it looks a bit of grim, a little tiny bit of rust there. But notice, no scratch, no dent. And we go around the back, even more apparent that it's a different van because it's blatantly got steps and a tow bar. And also, even more evidence that it's a different van. It's got a lump of blue paint there. And that's not in the other van, in the, in the photos. There you go, tow bar, steps. Carry on round. I think you can just make out a registration number on the back door. Same registration number. I can't quite see that. Let's just go back a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah it looks the same. Can't quite see it, but anyway, a bit of a rust spot there. Dent, dent. These aren't in the photographs. And the interior looks pretty grim as well, but it's just a builder's van. There's nothing unrepairable. Here's the seat. Got a big chunk missing out of the corner, and the trim is all good. But in the other one, in the photographs, that's good, but the trim is hanging off. Yeah, there's the canister. Look, there's a canister there. I don't know if that's in the photos either. I think it's a towel dispenser. So 
got a phone. Is it me or is that a different van? Is that a different van? I called into them when I phoned them up. They said no, they're both the same vans. I spoke to a guy called Matt, and I will mention his name. So I don't see nothing wrong with that. Registration number. YF10 XWX. So that's the end of our little video. Let's just go back. Oh, might go smaller. There you go. Is that a different van? Now in the description, YF10 W X. Sorry, YF10 XWX. Done 25,900. And 98, 89,000 miles. And on the photographs, here we go. Look, registration number's right, but that definitely looks like a different van. You can see the trim there is all missing, but the corner's just a bit shiny. I can't, see, yeah, you can't really tell if that canister's there or not. But that's beside the point. You can see it's a completely different van. Look, no tow bar, no step, no paint. There's no paint on here. There's your scratch again. And in the video, the van hasn't got that scratch. At first, I thought perhaps they just took the stickers off. You know, perhaps they took them off to make it look pretty. Um, but then I'm obviously reviewing it. Looking at these finer points, the driver's seat being one of them, still a two-seater, so that's good. Um, different keys, and definitely it's got half a tank of fuel in this. So this is the van I want. I want the one with the diesel in it. I don't want to get stranded. <laughs> As you can see, the dashboard's a lot different as well. It's a lot cleaner. So I spoke to this guy, like I said, I spoke to him, I phoned him up, I queried it, and they said, the one you're buying is the one in the photographs. Now when the vans go through, in about 20 minutes, um, I'll show you this screen. This is the screen you get when the vans go through. And down here in the corner, there's a little video um, display of a webcam pointing at the rostrum. So you will actually be able to see the van come through the rostrum via this little tiny webcam. So I'm interested to see which van actually goes through. Whether they put the grotty one through or the clean one through. If it's the clean one, I will be bidding on it. But if it's the grotty one, I'm definitely not going to bother. Because that's to me, that's just misleading that is. Well, actually no, I'll still bid on the grotty one if it's price is right. Because that seat's going to need sorting out. And who knows what the mileage is? Because they didn't show the mileage, did they? They just showed you that it needed fuel. Which to me is a bit crafty. So, lesson from this video is uh, don't bid online. Make sure you're there at the physical auction. And I would have been if it weren't for the accident on the M25. It said on my um, on Google Maps it's going to take me two and a half hours to get there from where I am. When I checked last night, it said an hour and ten minutes. So that's, that's some traffic jam. I didn't fancy sitting in there, so I thought I'd bid online. Um, I'm kind of wishing I got up earlier and got there in time. But never mind. This is interesting in itself to see what happens. So uh, I'll start videoing it when it when the auction starts. I'll um, see what happens. Yeah, we've got about another 10 minutes. I'll stop there and restart video and again soon a bit. So here we go. Here it comes. Is this the van in the photos or the van in the video? You can see the side down there. This splinter, the entry form says it's a panel van. No, it's not. It's a card school. Mobile card school, they're often called. There you go, just turn it up, right. see what happens. It's a uh, crew van. It's got, a, it's got uh, a card table in the back. It's got some seats. Ten on a ten. It's not letting me bid. There should be a thing up here so that I can bid. Okay, right. 
right, here we go. It is a sprinter, Imperial number one. It's a 313 mm -hmm. minimum. It's 125,000 miles. Uh, service lasts at 120, got an August. It's out of test. Out of test. No MIT. Right. <laughs> anybody got 5,000 pounds? Let's be sensible. Anybody got five for it? Five for it? No, no I haven't. Four? No. This is where you have to be patient. Now, I'm right. 35, I'm 6, right. 7. 37, 8, 9, 4, 4, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 45, 45 is a bit, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 47, 47, 47, 47, online bids now, 47, submit in the bit, 47, any further bidding, submit it, 47 once, 47 twice, done, gone, provisional, now then, up 47, net bid, Taunton, provisional. Well, there you go. After all that, I didn't buy it anyway. I thought that van was worth about four and a half. I went to four Number six. Two. This match. Somebody else went to four again. seven. And that's it. That's the end of it. You've got to be, um, you know, you, you have to make up your mind what a van is worth before you bid on it and then stick to that. I thought that was worth about four and a half grand, but I did actually bid four six. It went to 4.7 and it still didn't sell. So, um, yeah, I think that was too much money for that. But better luck next time. It was interesting to see what van actually went through, though. So, the next time I go to the auction, I will physically go there so I can actually see the van. So, until then, catch you on the next one.